husband is grilling out some chicken and I'm going to make some corn. And I'm gonna make fried corn similar to what my grandmother used to make. It's gonna melt two tablespoons of butter in this iron skillet. I'm gonna be using two bags of sweet corn out of the freezer section. These are 12 ounce bags. Let me check on my butter. You can use one bag of whole kernel corn and buy a can of creamed corn or vice versa. But if you've got a Ninja Bullet, you can actually cream this bag of corn and that's what I'm gonna do. Got my cup full, I'm gonna put just a little bit of water in there. I'll be right back. This Ninja Bullet is my favorite appliance of all. I'm gonna put just a little more water in this. My corn is partially frozen. So my butter's melted and I'm gonna go ahead and put my whole kernel corn in here. Now, if you can have pork and you save your bacon grease, it is so good in here. And I do remember what that tastes like, but I have to use butter. So here we go. Now we're gonna put the cream corn in. Look at that, yummy. Get all that goodness out of there. Once you get this stirred up, we're gonna add a little salt. And lots of pepper. I used to help my grandma shuck corn and she would make homemade corn. And when she would cut it off of the cob, she would actually cut it once and then she'd go back and scrape the cob to get the pulp. So that's basically what we're doing here is putting some pulp in there. It smells so good. I'm gonna go ahead and get a little taste here and make sure that I've got enough salt and pepper. Oh my gosh, it's so good, y'all.